Hey there, I'm here at West Star Tech again today and we're at a point of putting our uh, front forks back on a whole bunch of these bikes we've been uh, working on here in suspension systems. I got a little tip I just shared with uh, Ben and uh, CJ here and they're going to explain what they just learned. Well, a couple aspects that I didn't even think about Shane brought up is when you put the forks in, you have to have them set at the absolute same height. But so, show how you can tell. Okay. Every mechanic ahead, should know this, right? Yep. Want to talk it through? Weird. Yeah, when you're putting the axle through, you want to make you want it to go through smoothly. If they're they're both the same length out, then it should go through smoothly. So since we're having an interference, we're going to need to adjust the two forks. Okay. So think about this for a second here. What we're saying is that that just won't slip through with a nice slip fit because we're craftsmen, right? Absolutely. You cannot wear Absolutely. a hat like that and not oh, think you that can. you're a craftsman. You cannot. Marlon Brando. Okay, so since this is having to have too much effort, what we want to do is just pick one of the two forks for right now, and we want to adjust the other one. But if we, how could we get that axle to go through right now? We can uh, force it. Pulling on a shock. Either or pull, pull or push, push and Absolutely. you're going to see it lines up. That's what we're trying to avoid. If you've ever going to take a tire off and that axle, when you pull it out, it springs on you, you got other things you need to fix. I was at a, a, a student visit one time at OJT. I literally watched them compressing a fork three quarters to an inch to try and get the axle through. And the dealer's like, nope, not gonna mess with it. We're not paid to do that. If you run into this problem, what do we need to do? Fix it. We need to take and call the customer, tell them you've noticed an issue. If I was just doing a tire change, this isn't my, my job, right? Mm -hmm. right? There's no way I'm gonna just let that go out the door by putting a whole bunch of spring preload. Absolutely the other thing not. is, is however long that's been that way, what has it done in, in relationship to the two springs and the forks? Well, there, one of them has uh, got a different setting than the other one because it's been held in that position for a longer period. Could the bike handle ill? Yeah, absolutely. We don't, yeah, there's so many factors in this, but we know absolutely. this from an every mechanic should know the standpoint, there's really one good solid set of rules and that's to put things together where they you, they just slide right into place. You don't have to work so hard. Yep. You got to get big uh, rubber mallets and hammers out. Uh, no, you might want to no, rethink no. it, right? Thanks for coming back. We made our little bit of adjustments here on the forks with our axle bolt in, loosened up all our pinch bolts, found the sweet spot that we got the axle. Show us what a sweet spot looks like. All right, here it is. You can just sit here and spin that and move it in about any direction with just the slight ease of a couple fingers. Yeah, that's that's awesome alignment. I would say that is craftsmanship, well deserving of the hat and the growing of the beard. Kind Absolutely. of a comb over it too. Right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing it. That's yeah. the kind of work I want to see. Keep it up. All right, thanks guys. Keep wrenching.